Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out the Radio Masters Express LRS USB UART Flasher. Now it is a USB dongle to facilitate in upgrading the firmware on your ELRS receivers. Uh, it sells for just $9.99 at the time of this recording. Uh, so when upgrading ELRS receiver firmware, you can either flash it via Wi-Fi wirelessly Betaflight pass-through or via the serial port using an FTDI device. Now, Wi-Fi flashing is simple and user-friendly, and you don't need anything but a computer and an internet connection, as well as the Betaflight pass-through method. But there are times when a bad flash may occur. However, the serial port flashing method is a dependable and a reliable flashing method and can also be used to recover receivers with a bad Wi-Fi or a bad Betaflight pass-through flash. So the package includes the USB flashing tool, the Pogo probe, a 1.25 millimeter four-wire Crossfire JST GH serial port data cable, a 2.54 millimeter color-coded four-wire servo connector serial port data cable closed on one side and open on the other side and four of these color-coded spring-loaded test hooks has a servo connector on one end and it is spring-loaded and a hook comes out just like that. So the USB flashing tool is equipped with overcurrent and reverse polarity protection. So it is very safe to use and everything is clearly marked via embossing. So it won't rub off. Now it has a switch for either the 3.3 volt or the five volt output voltage. It has a standard 2.54 millimeter servo connector four pin port. So the four pin servo cable will fit in there perfectly. So simply line up the wires correctly. So we have the negative, positive, RX and TX. So you want the black wire on the left and then the red wire, green wire, and then the white wire. So plug it in just like that. And now you can connect the loose connector ends to your PWM receiver pins. So here I have the Radio Masters ER5A PWM ELRS receiver with the servo pins. So the red wire, you can connect it to any of the positive pins. So the positive pins are in the middle row. So just connect it to any of the positive pins. And the black wire, which is the negative wire, connect it to any of the negative pins. So it is on the bottom here. So connect it just like that. Now, the second channel or channel two on the receiver signal pin is also the serial TX pin. So what you wanna do is connect the RX wire from the tool to the TX pin, which is the channel two signal pin. So grab the green wire, which is the RX wire, and connect it to channel two signal pin, which is right here. Just like that. Now, the third channel or channel three on the receiver, the pin, signal pin, is also the serial RX pin. So you're gonna grab the TX wire, which is the white wire from the tool, and connect it to channel three signal pin. Just like that.
So to upgrade the firmware, connect the tool to your computer while pressing the boot button on the receiver. Now, if the receiver does not go into the bootloader mode when it's powered up, the boot button could be faulty. So if this happens to your receiver, use one of these old bind key on channel one of the receiver and simply restart the process. Now get the ELRS configurator ready with the firmware that you want, like you normally would, but choose UART instead of Wi-Fi and simply flash. So here's a really easy way to update your ELRS firmware using the ELRS tool. If you have one of these receivers that have the four pin crossfire port, like the ER6, the ER8, the 8G and the 8GV, you can use the four wire 1.25 millimeter crossfire cable instead of using the servo connectors and the servo connector wires on the servo pins. So here is the 1.25 millimeter Crossfire JST GH port on the tool. So simply plug it in, plug in the other end to the Crossfire port on the receiver, just like that. Connect the USB to your computer and you can start to flash like how we did before using the servo connectors. Same exact procedure, but now you just have one cable, one plug on each of the devices. So if you have one of these RP1, 2, or 3 nano style receivers with the solder pads, or even the Bandit BR1 or the Bandit BR3, and of course the new RP4TD, a true diversity ELRS receiver with the solder pads. Review on this receiver coming soon, by the way, or any other brand nano style receiver with the solder pads. You could use the Pogo probe to connect. It has a four pin servo connector on one side and four spring loaded, super sharp arrow tip pins on the other side. So simply connect the servo connectors correctly and that to your tool. And here is a nano receiver. So even if you have solder on the solder pads, which makes the terrain uneven, it will conform to the different heights of each of the pad because of its spring loaded pin. So line it up and push down, you just need to hold still for a while. So you don't need to solder header pins to flash this type of receivers with the use of the Pogo Probe tool. And if there is no boot button on the receiver, like this here receiver, some of these receiver have a boot button like this BR3 has a huge boot button. Also the BR1 has a boot button, but a tiny little boot button here. These receivers should have bridge pads to bridge. So you can just drop a tiny bit of solder to bridge those pads or just one pad to bridge with a negative pad to put it into the bootloader mode. Once you have done that, you can connect and go ahead and update the firmware using the ELRS tool. So here's something that is just an awesome little gadget. They are called the serial port test hooks. So if you already have wire soldered onto the receivers and using the Pogo probe isn't your thing, we have these color coded spring loaded hooks to grab onto the exposed wire portion of the soldered wires on the receivers on the one end and on the other end, you can connect a single servo wire connector, all color coded. So it'll kind of look like this here. 
so you don't even have to solder or desolder any wires, making it easy peasy to connect the wires to flash the receiver. So there you have it guys, the Radio Masters Express LRS USB UART flasher recovery dongle and accessories. Now I just checked online and it is still $9.99. So link down below if you want to check it out yourself. And you get these awesome little serial port test hooks. Not to mention the Pogo Probe, the Crossfire serial cable, the servo connector cable, and the USB tool itself. I will just go and get it for these awesome little test hooks. So that'll do it for this video. I thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.